Sleeves or no sleeves? That is the question. And it is the question that a lot of triathletes when going to buy their first tri suit, sometimes even second and third tri suit, are asking. There is a lot to consider. How do you know which one is right for you? Well, that is where we're here to help. So we're going to be covering the points for both of them. So by the end of this video, you can hopefully work out which one suits you. And as with so many of these questions, there is no simple, straightforward answer. Trends are always changing and rules changing as well. It was only as recent as 2016 that the World Triathlon Corporation changed the rules, actually allowing sleeve tri-suits to come into competition, whereas the ITU didn't follow and they kept the rules as being no sleeves allowed. So if you watch any Olympic or professional style WTS racing, you'll notice that they're all just wearing sleeveless suits. Now, when it comes to long course racing, the athletes now have the choice. And straight away, a lot went straight to the sleeve suits, but however, quite a few remained in sleeveless. And there's still that diversity now. So if the pros are mixed, how are we supposed to choose what is best? Well, both have pros and cons, so you need to work out what is most important for you. And today we're going to cover seven points or seven things to consider. So let's take a look. Mobility in the swim, obviously focusing on the shoulders. A sleeveless suit tends to give you more mobility because there's nothing covering your shoulders compared to a sleeve suit. Obviously, it does depend on the fit. If you've got something that isn't too tight, you've got a little bit more mobility when it comes to swimming. However, that is less aero, whereas a tighter suit is going to be more aero when you come to the bike. There is a way around that, though. You can actually swim with it off your shoulders, so around your waist, underneath something else. But you've just got to be sure that you can get it on quickly in T1, done up over your shoulders and zipped up in that time. Well, following on from the previous point is the resistance and drag in the swim. And you might want to consider whether your race or the races you're going to be doing are going to be wetsuit or non-wetsuit. If it's a wetsuit swim, then that's irrelevant because it's all tucked away nicely underneath that. However, if it's a non-wetsuit swim, then you need to consider if you're going to swim just in your tri-suit. And if it's a little bit baggy, it could add a bit of drag and be billowing around. You do have the option, obviously, of wearing a swim skin over the top of it. If you've got a sleeved tri-suit, then ideally you want to have a sleeved swim skin which could start to feel a little bit restrictive you do have the other option though of if you have a sleeveless swim skin you can again like i mentioned earlier fold it down underneath but you've just got to be sure that you can get your swim skin off and get that on quite quickly in t1 Aerodynamic benefits on the bike. Believe it or not, a tri suit is actually the material made from it is more aerodynamic than your skin. But there's a couple of things to consider here. If you're going to be doing draft legal races, then you don't need that aerodynamic benefit it's just written off and also it's the fit of your tri suit because if it is a little bit baggy then that's not going to be as aerodynamic as your skin however a well-fitting tri suit in a non-drafting race will be more aerodynamic and that's why in races like Kona where it's very much about aerodynamics for the pros and the age groups are like you'll see the majority of the field actually wearing sleeve tri suit. Speed at the loo stop or the toilet break is something you might want to consider. Hopefully it's only something you need to think about if you're doing longer distance races. But really, there's not going to be very much difference. Maybe just a few seconds in taking a sleeve suit off compared to taking a sleeveless suit off. When it comes to putting it back on, sometimes the arms can be a little bit twisted, but hopefully you only need to gonna do that once in a race, maybe. If you are worried you're going to need several loose stops, then you can always opt for a two-piece tri-suit, but they are definitely less popular now. Temperature control. This can actually go both ways because having nothing on your arms, having your arms free and your armpits free allows for plenty of heat dissipation from your skin. However, a lot of sleeve tri suits now have integrated technology that actually helps with heat dissipation. So you need to do your research on this one. Again, leading on from the last point, sun protection. A lot of triathlons tend to be in lovely, hot, sunny places, but that comes with a downside because your skin, especially in long distance racing, you're gonna be out there for a long time exposed to that sun. So a sleeveless suit, especially one with a cutout back, it's gonna have a lot more skin exposed. And yes, you can put sun cream on, but in the middle of the race, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna sweat off, and you're probably gonna miss patches, which can result in some pretty awful tan lines. A sleeve tri suit will give you that extra protection. You've only then got to worry about your forearms.
The final point, and in my mind, the most important is comfort. And that's one that I can't really advise you on because each suit varies so much. It depends on your body shape and your position on the bike, how you swim. There's a lot of factors to take into consideration here. I personally prefer a sleeve suit. It just feels like there's less seams, there's less things digging in, but that is my personal preference and I tend to race longer distance races. But hopefully with those seven points, that's kind of given you a bit of a scale to work out what's more important to you so you can go away and make that decision. And do let us know, have a conversation in the comment section below as to what style of tricep you prefer and why because then if new people are coming to look at it it might help them in making their decision hopefully you've enjoyed it give us a like if you have follow us on our social media channels and you can also subscribe here on youtube